On this episode, we're gonna be making sofrito burritos just like they make at Chipotle, but this time we're doing it from home. This vegetarian recipe is so easy and so tasty, you're gonna love it. So, let's not waste any more time. My name is Scott, this is Learning Vegetarian. Let's get started. Hi everyone, on this episode I'm gonna break down how easy it is to make sofrito burritos at home, just like they make at Chipotle. We're gonna use all natural ingredients, everything is from scratch, and you're gonna be so impressed and you're gonna be so delighted how tasty these guys are. So, let's not waste any more time, let's get started. Let's start on our seasoning. We'll be using some black pepper, cumin, coriander, and we'll also add in some oregano. Add your cumin, coriander, and black pepper, mix it together, we're gonna to take to a small skillet on the stove. Heat up the pan and add in your spices. We're gonna turn these around the pan for a couple of minutes and the goal here is to get the spices to be a darker color. Once these have darkened up, we're gonna take it back to the counter and we're gonna add some oregano and mix it up. Once this is done, let's set this aside. Let's prep our tofu. To a frying pan, I've added some grapeseed oil. Make sure the oil is nicely coated the pan. I've taken my tofu and just sliced it in half and what I'm doing is just frying each side to make sure that each side of the tofu is browned. I'm gonna put these on a plate and set these aside once I'm done. We're gonna use some vegetable broth, salt and pepper, an onion, poblano pepper, nutritional yeast, garlic, chipotle chilies with adobe sauce, and tomato paste. We're gonna start by roasting our poblano pepper in the oven at 425 for about 30 minutes. We're gonna prep this pepper by cutting off the top and peeling off the excess skin. We'll also wanna remove all of the seeds on the inside of the pepper and make sure that the pepper is removed from all of the excess skin and seeds. When this is completed, put it in your food processor. We're gonna chop up our onion and add to the food processor as well. Adding in our garlic and our nutritional yeast. We'll also be adding in our tomato paste, our soy sauce, apple cider vinegar, we'll also be adding some chipotle chilies, I think two or three does it. You can tone down the heat of this burrito by adding less peppers and less adobe sauce. We'll add a little adobe sauce as well. We're gonna add a quarter cup of vegetable broth and we'll turn on our food processor. We'll blend this until it's nice and smooth. Once this is completed, we will add to a large stock pot. We'll add in another quarter cup of vegetable stock or vegetable broth. And we'll also add in our spice mixture that we created earlier. I add about half of it now just to make sure I don't overdo it. You can always add more as you cook through it. Cube up your already cooked tofu and add to your stock pot as well. Give everything a nice mix, and once that's completed, we're gonna throw it back on the stove in medium high heat to get it to boil, and then simmer for about seven to eight minutes. Sometimes I break up the little cubes of tofu just so that they're easier to eat.
Those are so good. Ooh, and the spice. Ooh, we kicked it up today, did we not? Ooh. Okay, today we made some delicious sofrita tofu burritos, just like the restaurant. They taste so good. Oh, they're so tasty. Take this recipe, make it your own. My name is Scott, this is Learning Vegetarian. Until next time.